Well, hello, community. How are you? Um, this is Renee Michelle Floyd, and you know I am right in the middle of rolling my hair up, and I said, let me share with you how I actually roll my hair up to get curls, and I'm going right? to just show you exactly how I do, right? And then so I'm showing you the before. So I'm rolling my hair now, and then when I when um it's all finished and I have all I'm all dressed up and show you. Yeah, I'm going to show you how it turned out. tutorials all the time and um, but now that my hair is longer I'm having a little more challenge with um, you know with actually rolling my hair I have so many different rollers I'm telling you so but my absolute favorite is just a just a simple old sponge roller right so I have these sponge rollers and so I am actually rolling my hair up so what i usually do is i spray my hair and you see my spray i've been using this spray i spray my hair this is the argan oil uh spray right this is one of my favorites that i use so i spray my hair and then i put just a little bit of the argan cream on there and then i roll it up right so i'm going to show you how i how i roll it up so that it can have an even curl so what I normally do is divide my hair up into three sections, right? So I'll take a, and make like a half side part here and I get this all out the way like that. And I make another half side part like this and get this out the way. And then I have this middle. So I usually start with the middle section first, right? And, um, then I work my way up and then I go off to the side. So I am going to show you exactly how I do. So what I do is take a, a little piece of hair. So let me see if I can, let me see if I can show you exactly. So I just section my hair off like this, right? And I take about this much, about this much and and so what I do then after I take that is I spray it with my spray, right? So I spray and I don't put, uh, I don't put my head under a dryer and then I take about this much of the cream and you can use either, you know, either one of the creams is good. Um, and as you can see, I just use that much. Then I put it on the ends, you know, and I, and I comb it through with my fingers right and then i'll take one of these rollers like this and then i will usually start start here in the middle can you see let me see uh i don't know if you can see this or not but i usually take my hair and um and lay it across lay it across the curler like this i'm trying to come down so you can see lay it across the curler like this and then I just take my the ends and I just try to smooth the ends as much as possible and then I begin rolling it and I kind of spread the hair out so it won't be so thick there and I and then I just do it like that right I'm just basically rolling the ends up right I'm not going all the way down to the scalp and so then I'll section this off like so like this about this much you know i like to i don't like for them to be too big because then it's going to take longer and so i just spray it like this it's going to take longer to dry <laughs> and i take the little dollop of of the cream sometimes i'll do the cream or i'll do the oil right i'll do the oil and i just kind of saturate my hair a little bit and just gently move that product down to the down the strands of your hair. Take the roller 
and I just roll it, take it and kind of lay it, and then I just spread the ends around it like this so that the ends can be smooth like this. Hopefully you can see that, right? Sometimes I'll miss a strand, right? And I just roll it on across, roll it on down, and I kind of try to spread the hair out a little bit. And that's about it. I do See it just how much like that. I got done already, right? And um, you see that? And so I just have this little bit left to do. And then I'll do this side right here. Oops. Let's see. Yes. Then I'll do this side right here. I Hopefully you can still hear me. Um, you know, I had to answer the phone. <laughs> So you see how I do this? I've already put the the spray and the I've already put the spray and the cream on there. So now I'm just rolling it. But you see, my hair is kind of uneven. See that? It's a little uneven. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see it a little bit better, right? So what I do is take the um, the you know just take take it up to like the short part the roller and then I just kind of smooth it around the, the curler like this right and then just kind of hold it and just slowly roll it so that I can make sure I get all the pieces in there and see when a, when a short piece like that just kind of tuck it under to make sure that it's still smooth and then just you know put do it like that and I kind of pull it off a little bit uh, I can't stand tight rollers in my head because it makes my head hurt, right? So here is another piece next to the last piece on this side. And you can see how uneven that is. <laughs> see how uneven that is? When I first got my hair, it was so short. I'm telling you, my hair was about that long when I first got my sister locks uh, installed. And um, so, and then some parts was really short. So my hair grew in accordingly, right? So some parts was long and some parts was short. And so as it gets older and longer, then it almost kind of catches up with the other, uh, with the other part here. So here you have it. This is the last piece. And I think I got, I think I got it all, got all this done here. I hope I didn't leave a piece out. I can't see it. Can't see it yet. <laughs> you know, so here's the last piece and I just put it up and I make it smooth like that and I just wrap it around like that and hold it in place. You see that? And then I just try to spread it out a little bit so it won't be so bunched up. Um right there at the base so and that is it for this side that is it for this side and all oh, my hair just see it's a little drier on this side because i have not put any cream or spray on it yet and so once i spray this and put the cream on here oh gonna feel so much uh, more more supple you know more moisturized and soft and the curls are just gonna be bouncing and behaving curls you'll see have those long gray you know um, rods the padded rods I have those um, but it's a beast 
to sleep in those things. <laughs> so my favorite is these sponge rollers. They're softer, you know, to my scalp. Um, but every once in a while, I will put those in. But I have so many different... I have steam rollers. I have the rods. You know, I call them the jerry curl rods. And so these sponge rollers give me more of a softer, bouncier curl. That's why I, I like, you know, using these. But um, I guess I will show you the various curlers that I have um, after I'm finished, you know, rolling this out, rolling this up. But um, see, so now my hair is, it needs a little more. And, um, and the reason why I sleep in these is because I do not sit under the dryer. I let my hair dry naturally. I literally don't really put heat on it at all. <laughs> you know, um, I don't put, I don't sit under the dryer. I just really, really just sleep overnight with my braids and sleep overnight with my rollers. And uh, that's how I let it dry naturally. Um, you know, so because it's so warm now outside and at night here, my hair dries a little faster than it does in the winter time. In the winter time, it's colder, so my hair dries a little slower. So sometimes it'll take me about two days for my hair to be completely, completely dry, either from, especially when I first, you know, uh, shampoo it. Um, and it's really wet and I roll it up or I'll uh, braid it up. It takes about two days for my hair to be completely dry. And I, I keep them in. <laughs> I keep it in that long, especially the braids. So the braids, I try to braid it, in, uh, you know, kind of cute in like a style so that I won't have to take them out and all. So, and that's why I don't wear uh, my hair curl that often because I'm not going to walk around, you know, walk around with these rollers all in my head. So, so, um, you know, I'd mostly wear, wear my hair curled in the summertime or when it's warmer so that, you know, it can dry. So this is my last one, my last one, right? And so, so happy, <laughs> so happy. So anyway, I'm going to stop this video too and get a couple of my, my various rollers and curlers so that you can see what I use. But that's basically it. Then I put the top back on my cream, right? This is the Argan, um, the Rich Argan Oil Luxurious Conditioner Cream and then my, my, um, uh, my spray this this is my old bottle right so i had a brain fart right and i changed my logo to this like a long time ago and you know i said i need to go back to my 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 daughters had a fit right they had a fit so they said that i should not have ever changed the logo so this was my original logo right and, um, and then I talked to some of my white friends and are for a white friend. And so I was trying to reach that, uh, demographic. And so I changed the logo to this, but yet I kept the old logo. This, this bottle has been used. Oh my God. So I kept the old logo on top of here, but it just, you know, it just didn't do that well. I think I kept this for like three years, right? And then I said, you know what? Let me, I'm, they don't buy our stuff, right? So let me stay with our people. And so I went back to this uh, logo, back to the original logo, right? And as you can see, see the products back here? The, the shelves are pretty bare. Y'all are buying this stuff up. Thank you. <laughs> so we're going to make a, a new batch of uh, product here in the next um, few days. But anyway, so anyway, that's why I still use this. I just keep using this bottle over and over and over. So that's why I still have this, this logo on here. But that's basically what I do. I spray my hair, right? I spray either my whole head, right? 
and then I saturate it good with the conditioner or I spray by section. I spray it first and then I put the cream on there or the oil, right? Sometime I'll use the hair oil and uh, then I'll just take small sections and I just roll my hair up like that and you will see the finished product right tomorrow we're going to church and you will see the finished uh look um you know after i you know comb it out and all and i can't wait i love to wear my hair in curls i just don't so do it that often. i hope you enjoyed this and uh, this is now the after after i take all these curls out now you will see how i look here i go I enjoyed making this video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell so that you will be notified each time I make a brand new video. If you'd like to get products for your sister locks, visit us at www.beautifulhairproducts.com. Thank you so much and you have a wonderful day.